Hi, Grace Kids. I am so excited to be joining you for week two of the story of Ruth. Pastor Kate, how excited are you? So excited. You just can't hide it. I just can't hide it. Yeah. So I am really looking forward to this week because last week we started in the story of Ruth. Yeah. And we're going to find out this week there's a guy, his name is Boaz, mm -hmm. and uh, he kind of jumps into the story. Yeah. And let me ask you a question. What was Boaz before he got married? Not married. Well, true, but he also was ruthless. I think that was a joke, but it wasn't funny. Ruthless. None of the kids are laughing. Oh, they're laughing. Aren't you guys laughing? Oh, Out absolutely. Of pity. No, they're ruthless. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor Kate, what is our bottom line for today? Our bottom line for today is I don't remember Put what is it. Put others first. Put others first. Oh, yeah. yeah and we're going to see how Ruth actually puts that into action. The faith we talked about last week about God is faithful. We want to be faithful. She yeah. puts her faith into action. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Of course. Wanda! I'm gonna find you, Wanda! Wanda! Ooh, there's Red. Wanda! I'm gonna find you! I'm gonna find you! Wanda! I found you! I found you! I found you! You seem so scared. How long have you been there? Days? Months? My legs are years? still asleep! So, Too long. So it's only been a couple of minutes. <laughs> well, guess what? Today we're still talking about Ruth, and they're still letting us teach the kids. Yes! So we get to actually help them learn the memory verse. Oh, no way! Yes! Uh, you know what? I have a secret. Okay. I memorized the whole Bible. This the is it. The whole Bible. In the Just beginning! The whole Bible. Okay? The end. That's, that's not it. That's, that's not the whole Bible. It's like thousands of pages. Millions yeah. and billions and trillions of With pages. With really big font. <sighs> oh my goodness. So we're not memorizing the whole Bible, but we're doing a verse. Okay. And it's okay. something that Ruth says. Okay, okay, we have emotions. Okay, I'm ready. Ready to learn? Yes. No, those are not emotions. I was stretching. This is not I'm kabati. Ready. All right, so it says, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people, these are the people, right? Okay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Ruth 116B. B! Yeah, and Ruth is telling Naomi that. Because she's being faithful. She's I love that. Can we can we faithfully say it again? Is that how you okay. use that word? We can do that. I'm not sure, but let's try okay. again. Okay. Ready? One, two, seven. <laughs> One, two, three. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Ruth 1, 16, B. B. Good job. Thank you. I, I really need to practice that because I think I didn't do as good as you. But it's okay because I'll good. faithfully practice. I'm going to go hide, find a hiding spot. Uh, only if I get there first. No. Ah! No. All right, today we're gonna talk about Ruth and Naomi and continue what we did from last week. I am so excited, Miss Megan. Me too. So we're gonna continue Ruth's story and Naomi's story too and how Ruth rescues Naomi. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, I know. So they were in a new place. Yeah. Yep, and so they had to find some food. Mm, I uh, like food. Me too. And Food's so, very important. <laughs> yes, you need that. So they, um, Ruth and Naomi are together and they need food. And so Naomi sends Ruth out into the field to find them some food. Whose field was it? It was a Limalek field. A Limalek? A Limalek. A Limalek, a Limalek, a Limalek, a Limalek. Oh, sorry, Miss Megan. It's okay. I got really excited. I know. That's a really fun name to It is a really fun name. And I think that little song helps me remember how to say the name too. So Elimelech, he was the relative that owned the field. Yep. And the field actually belonged to a guy named Boaz. Yes. 
That's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. So you said that Naomi sent Ruth into the field. Yep. And so she went to Boaz's field. Yep. What was it that they were harvesting? They were harvesting wheat. Oh, I think it was wheat and barley. Oh, yeah. That's so exciting. I. I like that kind of food. I know, I do too. I mean, you need that to make bread. It's true. I like my bread. So Ruth got to be there and she was harvesting the food and she was following the other women that worked in the field. Yep. That was really exciting. Ruth really put Naomi first. Mm -hmm. She really rescued her in a time that they were really hungry mm -hmm. and they really needed something. Miss Megan, has anybody ever put you first? Yes, so we were in a car accident actually a couple years ago mm -hmm. and out of nowhere, this gentleman pulls up, jumps out. It had just happened, asks wow. if we were okay, hands us all water, yeah, and then like disappears and vanishes. Wow. It was like the best little thing though that he would just stop yeah. and say, are you okay? And gave us water. Wow, so that guy really put you and your family first. Yeah. In a time like you really needed it. Yeah, we really did need it. That's amazing. So I think like from this story, we and our friends at home can really learn that we need to put others, others first. first. There's an acronym for it too, isn't there? There is. Yes. This one's a, this one's a favorite of mine. Okay. It's actually joy. Great because work. we want to spread joy. We want to have joy in our mm -hmm. lives. And so the J stands for Jesus. Obviously. The O stands for others. Others. And then the Y stands for you. So that's the order that we should put people in. Jesus yeah. should be first, first and then others mm -hmm. and then ourselves. So, yeah. I really like that. I like that acronym too. So friends, this week we challenge you to put others first. So thanks for joining us again this week as we're learning about the life of Ruth and we learned today that it's important that we put others first. So Pastor Kate, would you close us in prayer? Yes, I will. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for sending your son who put us first, God, so that we can have the opportunity to put others first. And I just pray that you will be with us this week and remind us daily what it means to put others first. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.